Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. 37-year-old Rachel Marin, she lived right here. This was her home. I am on Old Emerton Road. It's about 10 minutes from Bel Air. August 5th, 2023, Saturday, around 6 p.m., Rachel left her home here to go to the Ma Pa Trail, to exercise, to walk. She was found the next day, murdered by a tunnel, by a drainage tunnel. She lived here. It's been reported that she left here at 6 p.m. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you to the Ma Pa Trail from here. It takes about 10 minutes. This is where I'm at right now on the map. So let me turn the camera around and show you her home. She lived here. Well, mailbox here. Nice tree in front of her home. Next door of a counseling center. Empty, no one's there. And right to the next door there is a, says a spiritual advisor, Miss Jordan. So Rachel lived here. This is the house of Rachel. It's a nice, cute little home. Now, I'm going to go from here to the Mapa Trail, the William Street entrance. And that's where her vehicle, uh, where she parked and then walked and hiked or jogged or exercised along the trail when this tragedy happened. Has anyone came and visit Rachel beforehand? Has she had negative interactions with anyone that's ever been to her home here? What about her boyfriend? She had a boyfriend at the time, Richard. Tobin. Um, you know, did he frequent here very often? You would assume probably because you know if you're in a relationship with somebody, they you would go to each other's home. Don't know if Richard stayed here. Don't know if any other guys stayed here. Let me just show you this angle. It looks all quiet. It looks quiet. Doesn't look like anyone is living there right now at all. Was she renting? So we're gonna go. We're gonna I'm gonna show you the route, the most likely route that she took, because it's just a direct shot, but it's about it's about 10 minutes, 11 minutes away. So we're gonna go on a drive. Okay. Oh, so one one thing I noticed there's there's no flowers or no memorial or nothing for Rachel at her home here. I'm gonna go to the Ma Pa Trail now. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Laurel Bush Road. So she ventured out that Saturday. They say she left the home at 6 p.m. Now some people say that she arrived to the trail at 6 p.m. I don't know either or take the next right onto Laurel Bush Road this connects to I'm gonna go around here and then just make a u-turn real quick right around here in a quarter mile turn left onto Hunter's Run Drive Burger King. Turn right onto Emerton Road, Old Emerton Road. Continue for three miles. Assuming this is the route that she took, I mean, this takes you directly there. It's almost like a straight way, might be a turn or two. 
So the very first thing I notice up here is McDonald's and there is surveillance. There's the surveillance cameras at this intersection here. Uh, McDonald's, Shell, Walgreens. This is Plum Tree Road. Plum Tree Road. And I am on 924 right now. Sonic. Public storage. Pattersonville Road, there's surveillance there. And when I say surveillance around her home, I mean, had she had any interactions with anyone come to her house prior? That police can, you know, review and see who visited her at her little home beforehand. Assuming that whoever murdered her is someone close to her. Could have been a complete stranger, too. It could have been somebody stalking her. Could have been someone driving around her house stalking her, too. And just, or followed her. Followed her to the trail. Like, she got in her vehicle, started going to the trail, and someone's creeping around her home and just decides to tail her and follow her without her knowing This looks like King Factory Elementary School over on the left. And you can see it's just lots of trees around here, greenery. And there's traffic around here. It's, it's buzzing around here. I am approaching right here the red light at East King Factory. And on this red light, I'll zoom it up. While it's red, you can see surveillance on these cameras. So it looks like almost every single traffic light around here has surveillance. And that can help investigators if whoever did this was someone from out of town, lived outside the community, they might be able to capture some sort of vehicle. leaving the area. And authorities seem like they're focused between the times of 6 p.m. and Uh, Rachel took another route to get here, but this is the quickest, most logical way, according to Google Maps. She could have stopped somewhere else beforehand that only investigators know. Uh, assuming they searched the pings on her phone and, and analyzed her phone, you would think they would. Any investigator should do that. Check to see her contacts, check to see where she was at exactly. And then here, this intersection here, as you see, McFall, McPhail, McPhail Road, East McPhail, and there's surveillance. There's surveillance on this road too. So every single road, every single street intersection with a traffic signal has surveillance thus far.
looks like reaching the downtown right up here. Turns into now two lanes. Sign right here, it says downtown Bel Air. See it, downtown Bel Air. This intersection here is Fulford. I don't see any surveillance though on the intersection. I don't see none. And those other traffic lights that have surveillance on there, they could have been non-operational, you know, not working. Sometimes surveillance cameras are just fake. Um, assuming that these are all county and state roads, probably not fake. They do have the money. And sign there, it says Hartford County, Hartford. County Government Administration Building. It's interesting in downtown here, it doesn't look like none of these lights have traffic light or traffic surveillance cameras. I don't see any here yet. But I'm sure a lot of businesses do. Crossing over Cortland. like there is the courthouse and the old courthouse those businesses pizza wine and cheese Savo wine and cheese In 1,000 feet, turn left onto West Broadway. Negative interactions with anyone on her way to go hiking or jogging. Some people say walks, some people say hiking, some people say running, exercise, stroll. Turn left onto West Broadway. So here's West Broadway, and there is surveillance cameras on West Broadway right here. See the camera right there. They have it. They have it. West Broadway. 924. So she came from, she lived at 924 South, because it says 924. South. See? South. That's where we started. Emerton. Alright. Let's turn. In 600 feet, turn right onto Williams Street. And we're just about at the trail. Just about at the trail. Turn right onto Williams Street, then turn left at West Ellendale Street. Next left at West Ellendale Street, then your destination will be on the right. We made it. We made it, everyone. Ma Pa Trail. Here's the trail. Parking lot right here. Your destination is on the right. trail real quick and just show you portal potties here and then the trail goes down so 
let me know what you think. I am JLR Investigates. I'm going to take you up right here to Main Road in a minute. Started out this trail. Apparently went this way towards the tunnel of 24. Tunnel that's about a mile away. And this is the neighborhood across the street. Uh, looks like, I don't know what that is. A lot of cars parked along here. Just looks peaceful and quiet. What happened to Rachel Moran? Who's responsible? Will authorities arrest anyone soon? I am Boots on the Ground. I'm JLR Investigates. And check out my playlist on Rachel. I've been covering this case extensively. I've walked this trail. I walked down the trail um, when it was getting dark. And I will show you also a daytime perspective and the surrounding areas. Who is the suspect? Is it a suspect or suspects? We will talk soon. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.